All right. Antonio in the building. All right. All right, my man's man. What's going on with you, G? I'm not here blessed, bro. You know, beautiful day, great day to be a truck driver. All right, man. How how long you been driving out in these streets, man? Uh, in general, it will be four years. Four years. All right, man. So, yeah. so you, so you've been doing it, man. What's how's your journey so far? Uh, pretty good, man. Uh, I, I've been blessed. Um, I made some right choices. Um, God looked out for me. Just putting the right people in my life, and my trucking career has really been, you know, going up since I hopped in the truck. Okay, okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, and it's good to it's good to hear that uh that you know that you feel comfortable, you know, driving because you know a lot of a lot of this a lot of people can't can't handle this. You know what I'm saying? They they can't handle they can't handle the monotony. They can't handle being by themselves. They can't handle being, you know, you know, hemmed up for you know, 11 hours, 10 hours, 14 hours. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, a lot of people say they can, but then when they get into it, they, they come to, they come to terms, they come to realize that, nah, this, this isn't it for me. <laughs> Absolutely. I was a loner anyway. So, you know, they stick it in one spot. So that, that's you. All right. I can, I can entertain myself in the smallest areas. All right, that's what's up, man. What about uh? So what about what about what you was doing beforehand? Before you got into trucking four years ago? Oh man, I've had in my life. I've had so many jobs ranging from tech crematorium to military to fast food, to personal assistant. But I was really down bad before I decided to get into trucking. For two years, you know, I had to stay with my mom. And uh, the only thing I was doing for money at that time was actually donating plasma twice a, twice a week. So I'm talking about making $100 a week, if that, for two years. I figured out I wanted to go into trucking. I did my research. Um, I chose what school I wanted to go to. And just before I was about to leave, you know, God, I just thought this. I just saw your show when a young lady was talking about how she went to see our England and two weeks later they said they couldn't do nothing with her. Mm-hmm. Well, I got a letter before I left saying that I owed $1,200 in tickets. I called the recruiter. They was like, yeah, that's going to be a problem. So I put truck in on hold. I got a job solely with the purpose of paying off these tickets. I worked there three months, paid the tickets off, and then I went to the studio. Okay, that's what's up. That that's what's up, bro. Okay, that's what's up. So you you said let me you 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 started you 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 started it looking into your in, into your situation before you even got you know before you even started trucking. You was like, hey, let me let me look at my let me just let me look at my MVR. And see where I'm at. Yeah, bro. So then everything is based on your life. So why wouldn't you? I mean, I'm not, you know, trying to talk about anybody else, but I just felt like this is about driving. I know my driving ain't that mm-hmm. You know, I'm from Chicago. Everybody ain't paying their tickets. So I knew I had some tickets, man. So I just made a couple of inquiries and that still uh, came back just in time. Now, now you know what I, you know, I, I knew that my MVR was 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 lightweight clean, and I kind of did. I I went the same route as you. I I went, made sure that my driving was on point. But see, another thing what people don't understand is, like this is federal. So when they ask you for like for like ten years worth of work history. A lot of people can't even remember the first job they had maybe two years ago. So I went so true. I went to the to to the to the social security office in my area. And under my social security, of course, you know, when you when you work, you gotta put your social security number down regardless. So 
what I did, I, I went to the Social Security and I just asked them, I was like, look, is it any possible way that I can get like a, a, a printout of, of, of my work history? It was like, yeah, you can do that. We need $120 for you to do it, though. It's like $120. Right, right. We got to hit Yeah, we get, yeah. So I was like, you know, $120. Okay, fine. You know what? This is what I want to do. <laughs> go ahead and pay. I'm, I'm going to get paid back twofold anyway. So, yeah, go ahead. So, so that's that's another thing uh, these, these, these guys got to realize when they come into the industry, too, is not only just your MVR, but they also looking at your work history, too. Absolutely. Yeah, they definitely all all come up into a few companies. All of them actually. Yeah, like you know, like my my first company was US Express, and yeah, they they went they they went deep. You know, they, you know, I'm a poker player, <laughs> so I'm about to use a poker term. They went deep into the tank with me, man. I'm over here like. <laughs> They called me in. They they when I was in orientation, I think I went into the office at least four or five times. So uh you you worked in here work well we, we got a we got a gap between uh uh two uh nineteen ninety six and nineteen ninety eight. So what you was doing in those two years? I'm over here like I, I got to get that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that part. <laughs> that part, I was finding myself. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what um, that's what they do. So you know, shout out to you, man. Let me give you another bond drop. Shout out for you to go in and make so sure that your that your driving record was together. You ain't had no tickets, so you uh you you jumped in the KLLM program. Yeah, um, I researched it, um, and before I get into that, I just want to tell you, thank you for all that you do, because you are one of the four people I watched on YouTube before getting into trucking. You, LaShawn Park, TV, and Guilty, and y'all really put a battery in my back to get everything done again. Oh, thank wait, you. wait a minute, my G. I, I am up there with the elite. You you put me up uh, there bro, with the you, elite. What? Bro, you the one called me. Of course, you up there with the elite. Ain't nobody else got made my ball ring. What? You mean to tell me I am <laughs> up there with the? I am up there with the trucker Brown, the Lashawn parts, and guilty. Bro, you put people on. You put people on. No what? Way. I, no way. No way! I, 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 look, man. I, you know, I, I really, uh, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you very much for at least, at least considering me, uh, up there with those guys because I, I thought, you know, me personally, you know, I, of course, I got my own opinions for each one of them, but I, I didn't, I, I didn't consider myself, you know, like. Like like them, you know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody, you know, everybody that I, I, I have talked to have have given much, you know, much admiration and inspiration to all those guys. So shout out for, you know, shout out to Low Shine for what he does. Shout out to TB for what he do. Uh, and definitely, <laughs> and and definitely guilty seven one eight. I mean, you know, they they all in their own, you know, they all in their own space and everything. You know, it's and it it's like it's like uh it's like seafood. It's like shrimp. Is it's an acquired right. taste for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. but thank you for at least considering me as a part of as, as a part of you know as a part of them so thank you very much man i really do appreciate it you're putting people on you're keeping it positive all right man you're doing your thing bro it's well deserved all right all right thank you all right so no, let's let's get back, back to, to this let's, let's get back to this klm <laughs> man because you know you you know me and you had the conversation in 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 the comment session and uh i i think uh i think highway journey shout out to her she kind of came in and you yeah, know yeah. kind of kind of came in and said her thing about it about it too but yeah yeah but you 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 went well, through the, the you you went through the program so how was your and and just to let everybody know 
this is just your experience with with exactly. them, right? Exactly, because I've heard horror stories too. You know, I'm not going to sit here and cap. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, based on black and white, I don't understand why other people would choose well or pride of the care of them. Maybe it's something I'm missing, but for all the reasons I've listed below, it's different unless they change. And I think uh, the young lady was trying to say all of things are the same that I were listed, mm -hmm. but I just disagree unless it's Hey, I don't know. I, when I when I came out of Kelly School, I started having twenty Wait, 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 heard, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, let's let's back up a little bit. So you you decided to go through KLLM and their and their CDL program. How before hey, this is wild. now before you came out of there, how was the setup uh for you to, you know, to get to get a you know, to get in there and get your license? And then, how was it set up after you 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 got your license and you had to drive with them for a while? Okay, well, first I didn't have my permit, um, and I chose them because they paid me during school. They provided a hotel and they provided a meal while I was there. I didn't have a lot of money, so the setup is they put you in a hotel. Um, you get a ride from the hotel to the school every morning. Um, the first week, you're practicing for your uh, permit. Mm -hmm. So take your permit at the end of the week. Following Monday, it's like a three to four week course. I have to get it to three or four weeks. But that's the time that you learn and trust to get your CDL. Mm -hmm. Once you get your CDL, and I, let me, I don't know how it is at other schools, but the Chicago Heights of the KLLM, they pretty much just taught you how to pass the test. Uh, I have to say that because I got to give credit for credit to my trainer is the one who showed me how to drive his truck. My trainer is the one who showed me how to get that bag. His name is Ramon Johnson. He goes by Bodie. And I have to stress this. That is a great trainer. Two months after I got out of his truck, he passed away. So, my recipe for Ramon. But, um, after you get the CDL, you uh, go on the road with a trainer. They just put you together with one, you know, smoker, non-smoker, that type of stuff, uh, female, male. Um, they put you on the truck with them for six weeks. If you feel like you are ready to take the test and upgrade, then you can do that at the end of six weeks. So it's up to you. You want to go there and fail? That's up to you. You want to go pass? Go, go do your thing. So I went there. I passed it. At that point, I uh, picked up my truck. They gave me a brand new truck and 28 miles on it. And I was on the yeah, man. All right, so you, so you on, just, so you, so you just basically said, um, you, you just basically said it's, it's all up to you whether if, if you want to yeah. go, if you, you basically said if you want to go in there and fail, you just going to go in there and fail. But if you want to go in there and succeed, yeah. Then you're gonna go in there and succeed. So it, this is basically yeah, all up to you. Yeah, if you're comfortable and you think you can, you know, pass, then you can go pass. If not, let the trainer know and keep you out longer and work it. All right, that's what's up. All right, so you got out of your trainer's truck. You uh, you upgraded. Uh, did did now, Kate? From what I heard, and this is only what I heard. But do KLLM push leasing on to you? Uh, they don't push leasing. I actually ask to go lease. Um, they they tell you you have to wait three months before you can go lease. I waited two, and I just asked the question like, "Yo, when can I go lease?" I'm thinking about it. I asked my dispatcher, and they sent it up the chain and got a for me to lease early. So I can't say that they push me because I have experience. I'm not also I'm not calling people liars. All right, so you you decided to go leasing why? Why? Because I just wanted to make more money than I was making. I wanted to have control over the truck because if I didn't lease, they could kind of tell you where to go, where you can't go. Like what's this back? They can tell you like the the 
I was running out of Indiana, but I'm from Chicago. So if I wanted to go home, instead of taking my truck home like a beach driver do, I have to park at the hub in Indiana and take a hundred dollar one way over to the crib. So I just wanted to go east, man. And I'm not and I and I I heard the video the other day, the guy was talking about, you know, Lisa, you shouldn't do it if you're not going back to trust. You don't see the reason for that. I definitely understand that, but I am one of those guys with Lisa, and I do not want to own this truck. Yeah, like, you know, there's there's a whole bunch of different reasons why why people go lease. I mean, you know, at first, yeah. in the beginning, I was like, I was a whole advocate for not leasing at all you know don't lease yada 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 don't do this but after yeah, talking, all those videos. yeah a- after talking to you know after talking to these drivers like i normally do i could see the pros and the cons of going leasing and i just pretty much assess the fact that leasing is is just about just going in there and get your money and get out type deal you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, the, I, I you, gotta, you gotta work it, man. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of, you know, I kind of, you know, open my mind to, you know, to you guys as far as if y'all want to lease or not. So, you know, again, some yeah. people. And, and some, I felt like. Mm-hmm. I really, I really felt like I watched enough YouTube videos and like all you guys. So I felt comfortable doing it. Man. I've never done anything like this before. After two months of getting in the truck, you guys made me feel comfortable enough to hop out there and do it. And I haven't had no issues. Like, when I started leasing, like, they used to tell me I'm a success story and I'm one of the highest earners at the moment. Like, I've been doing good. Like, I ain't got no strength. Now I, I, now I would, like, never want to do it. All right. So KLLM, uh, you, you, uh, you, now you're leasing. Now you, you know, you're rolling with them. Uh, what was your, during the leasing, you know, during the time that you was there leasing, what was your, you know, what was your average, what would you was average in a week? You could just ballpark it. Uh, uh, ballparking, leasing, I probably was getting about, 17, 18, they're not the end of the clutch. All right. Uh, of course, this is a walk-away lease, right? Yes, walk-away lease. Yeah. So you could just go ahead and, you know, just call them up and say, hey, I'm done here, wherever yep. you want your truck, and, and just walk away yep, with when no... when I quit them, I just call them and tell them. Oh, okay. So you can just walk away with no no responsibilities or nothing like that. Just make, the, just make sure the truck is back the same way you got it, right? Yep, then you get all your maintenance money back, your so bad. I walked away. I go to truck bag. I walked away. It's probably five thousand. Okay, okay. So uh, again, how you you say you was with them for how long? I was with KLM. I thought I had the one year contract, but I ended up staying with them two years, almost two years. Okay, so during that, so during that period, you was able to fulfill the. Fulfill the obligation for your CDL as well, right? Oh yeah, uh, I had to do one year. And one thing about that, I want to say, and I've heard, and I don't want to keep. I, I'm gonna sound like I hate time, but I really don't. But I just heard that they take money back out of the school that you went to out of the check. I don't know if that's true or not. But that's not happening in Canada. You do not get contact. You're not paying for the school at all. Well, you know, there's been a lot of stories about that. You know, uh, I, I I can't say for certain either. Yeah, you know, I don't know because you know this this is all hearsay. You know, speculation. Right, right. But you know, they they even you know, and I'm you know, this this ain't no this this ain't no hate prime episode or nothing like it that. It ain't. It ain't. I swear. But I'm just I saying, you like know, like you know, they're. You know they they got a commercial you know with my guy uh, Junior her, so, Junior, Junior her her I can't never pronounce Honduras I think that's Hernandez his last name. Hernandez oh, Honduras, uh, Honduras. yeah 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 it's Honduras and, and, and yeah. in that commercial you know some you know there was there was this guy that was speaking about the about the the CDL program whether 
you know, that they'll give you two hundred dollars a week or in advance that it's not even it's not even giving you two hundred dollars. They only advancing you two hundred dollars, which means you got to pay that back. And and right. from the people and from the couple of drivers I talked to, you know, during their time at Prime. Yeah, they they did mention that. Yeah, you, you're in the CDL program and it's like you're paying them back back for the cdl within that year but then i hear that you get reimbursed after the year hey anybody from prime if if i'm if 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 i'm wrong about that let me know in the comments below and you're and you can definitely come on and 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 share you know how it is now if that's the case if that's true okay but that's not okay for like me. Like that's too much money for so I don't I don't I don't like all that money. I don't want stuff to be going out coming in for the same stuff. Well think like about it. Paying for it or not. Well think about it this way, eh? I mean, they they they'll take let's just say on the bottom end they'll take like two hundred dollars a week. All right. Or uh -huh. I'm just saying on the bottom end, it probably might be less than that. But let's just say they taking out two hundred dollars a week. And then let's say the ninth month you decide to leave and you'd be like, right. excuse me, you'd be like, okay, I'm done. You know, I, I want to go ahead and, and, and see I, if I can go somewhere else and whatever, whatever. So I get it, bro. You know, I two, four, it. six, I'm eight, ten, two, four, six, eight. So you already you you already punched in eighteen hundred dollars into a five thousand dollar ticket. You see what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah, I get it. But here's what I'm that's the that's the business end of. I'm mm -hmm. not the business end of. I'm the travel. I can accept what I want to accept. You know what I'm saying? Is that right. how they doing it? I'm gonna look for a place that ain't doing it like that. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's all, I, that's I, all I, I'm saying. That's I, I mean, you know, I, I, you, don't get me wrong. I, I look at it from both sides of the fence. So I'm like, yo, if, yeah, if, if, if I'm going to leave, which one's best for me. right. If, if I'm going to leave before, you know, the obligations is fulfilled, then just take out what I already put in and just send me the balance. So. I mean, look at it. Look at it this way, man. Uh, uh, you know, back then, back you know, back then, you know, if people left out of the program, they will turn around and be like, "Yo, you, we're gonna blacklist you until you pay us our money." And they got in, and some yeah, companies, some companies got away with that shit. But you know, all that changed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, CR England was was horrible with that shit. You know, yo, you don't, I, you, you I don't love it, so they under the bus. I yeah, love it. you you don't fulfill the contract <laughs> with us. You know, yeah, we we gonna keep you, we gonna blacklist you, so you won't be able to go no to no other trucking company. Man, get out of here with that. So wrong, it was so wrong. It was so wrong. All right, so you know, so later on, you know, you got on the truck. How now? You went leasing, but. How how much was, you know, for a new guy, you know, when you came in and the guys went company? A new guy? What, what was it for a new guy new, that came in that went company, though? New guy, company, I got off my train of the truck immediately making uh, between 1000 and 1000 But what was the cent per mile, though? For three. How much? Forty-three cents per mile. Damn it, man! Hold on for a second. Hold on. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Circle from Agra. Please go to the checkout. Checkout. Okay. So, yeah. do I get out the truck and or come back around or what? Yes. You go to the shipping office. It's on the exit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. All right, there we go. All right, man. All right, so how much was it again? Hello? Oh. All right, how much was it again? 43 cents a mile. 
All right, so they was so they was starting you guys off at forty three cent a mile. Yeah, stay out of. Um, okay, that's 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 not bad. I mean, that's not bad, considering that you know some places start off at like thirty thirty five. <laughs> you know, some places start you off at. Hey, yeah, that what the that that part right there. When I when I talk to the when I talk to the driver about that seventeen, uh uh-uh. Man, every time I hear that, man, I'm like, wow, 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 wow. I ought to be on the phone with some of the crew that's trying not to do that. <laughs> nah, we we ain't having none of that, man. All right, so <laughs> so basically, uh, so basically, overall, you. You you would recommend KLLM over overall, uh, would you say? I would. I, I would definitely uh, uh, tell people to at least look into it. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a great dispatcher out of the Midwest. Uh, she was awesome, really, like, helped me out. She was like a, a, a work mother to me. And we still keep in contact to this day. Uh, I switched the business and did dedicated crafts. Um, that guy was awesome. Like, I've had good experiences, man. I realize people have bad ones, but I would definitely tell people to take a look at Kevin before, you know, making a decision. All right, now before we get on up out of here, and I I hear all the praises about KLLM. I, I hear that you, you know, again that this is your, you know, your experience, and you never had a problem with them. But let's be for real, G. Come on now, come on, come on. They, what you want had, the bad stuff? Yeah, I ain't had, had, it. I, I you mean, want you the bad left, stuff? bro. You left. Let's though. get it. No, let's you, get it. No, you, we, you yeah, left. I left. Oh, you know why I left? Though? Why? Why you leave? You know why, why I left? Though? Why you left? Because I was leaving. Cause first of all, I met my I met my now wife and got married while I was on the road. That's a that's a nice little story too. Okay. But um, once we got married, she got sick, really sick. She had to have an operation, and she was going to be bed ready for the next eight weeks. Okay. As a lease driver, you cannot freaking take eight weeks off. Right. So I had to quit KLM when I got a local job. Oh, okay. I stayed home to care my wife. Okay, well, that's what's up. Shout out to you to do that, man. Shout out. All right, well, you know what? We we uh we definitely gonna have to come back. Uh, we definitely gonna have to come back and hear and and hear about the 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 love story, the KLLM love story. <laughs> <laughs> so I I do appreciate I I do appreciate you a for coming on, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, you are a citizen now, man. Like I said, you know, we'll probably get back next week or something like that, you know, when we get some free time or something like that, man. But uh, right now, brother, man, got to get back on this road and uh, and get back at it. So I really do a t- appreciate you taking the time to, to chop it up with me. Anytime, bro. Keep doing your thing. I'm still going to be out here listening, bro. Be safe and get that back.